Hi guys, here is our math problem for today. This is taken from the 1995 Mathematical Olympiad in Argentina. Is it possible to write the 11 whole numbers from 1985 to 1995 in some order so that the 44 digit number you get is prime? To understand this problem, let's list down those 44 digit numbers. We start from 1985 to 1986 and continue until 1995. If you count all the digits in this number, there are 44 of them. Now, as this is written, we know this is not a prime number because this number, this 44 digit number ends with five. And we know that when a number ends with five, that number is divisible by five. But since this large number is composed of 44 digits coming from 11 whole numbers, it's possible for us to, let's say, interchange 1993 and 1995 and we form again another 44 digit number and now we do not know if this number is prime or not this ends with digit 3 and 3 is an odd number so it's not easy for us to tell whether this number is prime or not so how can we know whether this number is composite or prime you can pause the video and see if you can solve this math olympiad problem Now let's solve this problem together. In order to answer this, let's recall our divisibility test for 11. A number is divisible by 11 if the sum of the digits in the odd places and the sum of the digits in the even places have a difference that is a multiple of 11 or 0. So we want to know the sum of the numbers in the odd places. We want to know the sum of the digits in the even places. And we will get the difference of those two sums and then we'll check whether the resulting difference is divisible by 11 or if it is 0. So let's carry that out. Let's begin by identifying the numbers in the odd places and the numbers in the even places. We color the numbers in the odd places blue and we color the numbers in the even places red. And let's get the sum of all the digits that are colored blue. So for 1985, let's add 1 plus 8 because these are the numbers in the odd places and do the same thing for the remaining numbers. And then let's find the sum. One plus eight is nine, and all these digits sum up to nine, here, 10, up to here. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, 60 plus 45 equals 105. So the sum of all the blue digits, that means the sum of those digits that are in the odd places is 105. Then let's get the sum of all the red colored digits. And the sum of all of this is 149. Then let's get the difference of 105 and 149. So what we're getting here is the sum of all those digits in the odd places minus the sum of all those digits in the even places. And this is equal to negative 44. So clearly negative 44 is divisible by 11. And so our conclusion is that this 44-digit number formed by listing down the 11 whole numbers from 1985 to 1995 is a composite number. This is not a prime number. But what happens if we rearrange the numbers? Let's interchange 1988 and 1989. Is this number still divisible by 11. Let's check the positioning of the digits in the odd and even places. Notice that if I interchange these two numbers, one and eight are still in the odd place. The same with one and eight here. This nine and nine are still in the even place. The same with nine and eight here. So there is no change in the designation of the blue and the red digits. They still belong to the same color even if we interchange the numbers. Now, let's take a different pair. Let's say 1,986 and 1,993. So here, one and eight are in the odd place. Nine and six are in the even place. The same with the blue digits and the red digits here, respectively. If I interchange these two numbers, notice that this one and nine are still in the odd place. We have one, two, three, four, five. So this is in the fifth place. This is in the seventh place which are still odd places. And the nine and three are in the even place. So what we learn from here is no matter how we rearrange the digits, their designation as in the odd position or in the even position will not change. And because of that, we can say that no matter how we rearrange these 11 numbers, the sum 
of the digits in the odd place would always be 105 and the sum of the digits in the even place would always be 149 and the difference would always be negative 44 and because of that this 44 digit number would always be divisible by 11. And so going back now to the question, is it possible to write these 11 whole numbers so that the 44 digit form is prime? The answer is no. The 44 digit number is always divisible by 11. And this problem is now solved. Thank you very much, this is Land Assistant, and we'll see you again in our next video. Bye for now.